coal here. So I just do some testing. Why oh, cut any of this out? I don't know. Um, so, oh hey, this is, oh look, it's Brian from the Gothicles. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to talk about Game of Thrones? God damn it, dude. Um, we're doing a thing called Industrial Nerds, looks like, where we do a podcast uh, for a very specific audience, mostly, where we are discussing uh, stuff like industrial and EBM music, etc., and nerd things. So, I mean, what do you expect from a guy that has a uh, band where a track is called Moon Knight is Cool, or Drop Dead Squid Face, or Straight Up Otter Time, and another guy... Uh, whose band does stuff like, well, I don't know, I want to do a track called Venture, it's a badass, but anyway, I should get back really on point here. So, welcome to Vorpal Tips. Uh, this is basically uh, very short videos where I tie myself with a stopwatch, um, and I give myself five minutes to talk to you about gaming tips, and I, I hope you like them. So, uh, first off, I would like to cover, uh, I like to cover me saying ums and ahs a lot. Let's stop that. First off, I'd like to cover uh, the need to discuss game mastering tips versus player character tips. This is something my buddy Jeremy brought up, uh, also with the Vorpal Gnome, uh, yesterday to me uh, while we were chatting about the upcoming Toy Fair. Most videos apparently uh, are about game mastering. And so in the future I'd like to just discuss more about how to play a character, what's the best, you know, I never really, there's no best way, but what, what kind of player character stuff do you want to play? But today I want to talk about something very specific that is near and dear to my heart, so much so that uh, my first child's name, uh, his initials are DM, his first two initials and incidentally, this was the shirt I was wearing when he was born, something like 15 years ago. I'm old. Uh, and I'm going to start the timer now. All right. Five minutes to discuss this. So, you're a game master. You are set, you're setting up a world for your players to totally screw up in some way, as that's par for the course. And you want to have the you want a background. Now, one of the interesting things about a lot of things like Game of Thrones and The Wheel of Time, etc., there's extensive backgrounds that these authors went into. Um, and how do you design these extensive backgrounds? It can be very intimidating, it can be daunting, it can be overwhelming. You want to design every aspect. And I remember I had a Dungeons and Dragons setting I set up called Dallas Antia. It's probably the only time you're ever going to hear about it uh, anywhere on the internet except for, from me. And I had a multi-year campaign where my players discovered the world. Now I didn't, I had a basic general idea of how I designed the world and a basic history, but I just designed it as I went, went along. So first off, what you want to do is really start small. Uh, the characters, uh, it, it, the player characters in that campaign started off in a city-state and they moved on and they explored the world and I became more detailed with that world as they went around. And now, secondly, don't worry about your players never discovering everything in the game, okay? So uh, you have these backgrounds, these things. Uh, the shopkeep might actually be a serial killer or maybe they have a, a burgeoning honey wine business or something. It's good to put these, these notes down. It gives you uh, a depth, breadth with the character as the shopkeep is discussing their, their life. It allows for them to uh, be more, more fleshed out, so to speak. So what you want to ensure, though, is that you don't be, that you're not disappointed with the players not giving a crap. Why would, what, do you ever give a crap about the cashier at the shopping, the shopping mart? Do you care about who's making your tacos? I mean, I might, but that's how I think. Most people don't care. And not in a bad way, they're just unconcerned with these details. So. A very good example of this method of designing your campaign worlds and your settings and your cities, and etc., is George Miller. I mean, he's the director, the creator of the Mad Max series. And when he was doing Fury Road, it was in production hell for so long. It, he had come up with a backstory for every single character you see in Fury Road. 
and I find this fascinating. I, I have been watching a lot of videos lately, and that's just one of the things I, I've been reminded of is how George Miller created this. So, you know, um, so Furioso, she has, or Furiosa, excuse me, she has this extensive background. It's extensive, it's insane, and you barely see it in the film, yet the film is amazing. If you don't think so, that's great. You're entitled to your crappy opinion, but the film is absolutely amazing because the characters are so, seem so in depth, even though we barely touch on them. Like, what if Mad Max is actually the feral child? There, there seems to be hints. We don't know, but we don't care. But we, we do see a breadth, a depth, this yawning chasm of character in every character. It, it, the, the, the war boys, even just one that pops up on the screen, and Morton Joe, all of them have, seem to have these extensive backgrounds that we only get a flash of. And that's how one way that you could do your games is that every character that maybe they bump into a shopkeeper or whatever, or maybe they bump into any NPC that you have, the non-player character. You could have this character have this insane background, and then maybe it's never touched. The cool thing is, and I have this problem too as a writer type, is when I create things, I want to use everything, and I never want to reuse it for something else. Now, it took me literally years to get over. Literally, like, just so many years, decades. So I, I recycle ideas all the time, because really everything's recycled ideas in a way. There's only, like, what, seven kinds of story? Okay, four minutes. Now, these those two main points, I feel, are, are excellent tips for your games. Always remember that your, your characters are... Or your player characters, they're the stars, but you're also sort of like the god star of your game. Uh, you have to provide entertainment, you have to provide a setting and characters, and, and whilst simultaneously giving your players agency to play their characters. It's a fun balance, and it can be a good balance, a bad balance, really depends. I hope in the future to give you more videos like this, uh, and not um and awe ah as much. I hope those two primary tips, I would like to delve more into world building in the next episode of, of Vorpal Tips, and I would also very much enjoy talking about player character stuff. Maybe we'll get Jeremy on camera. Uh, let's see. Also, that's five minutes. There's your tips for this video. I hope that helped in some way. Uh, and also, I'd like to point out Maximum HP arrived in the mail today. Thank you, Lloyd. And of course, Lloyd and Fail Squad Games. It was a Kickstarter I backed. And also, one other thing we did is we are one of the advertisers. There's our new ad. You may also see our ad in the mag local magazine and internationally distributed magazine, Absolute Underground. One by great people. Uh, so, yeah, this Maximum HP is the old school zine for a new school world. And I really have not got the flip through it yet. I am looking forward to it. It is 48 pages of uh, awesomeness in, in, in a way that, like, wow, well, there's woolly, woolly, woolly fonts, the unexpected mount, and fitting them into your world, dwarf home stones, the ultimate test for clerics under the mountain, and dwarven business add flavor to your dwarven mountain hold. Speaking of stuff you can throw into your games, these little magazines are fantastic. You can find PDFs on Drive Through RPG. You can buy them in. The pulpy flesh, uh, and look at that! Oh, Chi Minton. That's that's pretty cool. A little artwork on the back there. See here. Excellent. I keep looking over there. I gotta stop doing that. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this is fun, cool. Let me know what you would enjoy me covering. I've been game mastering since 1984. Old. Thank you. Talk to you soon.